What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion. So summer is behind us, we are in September, fall is coming here, at least in the northern hemisphere, but it's coming, so I'm very happy. So today I'm dressed like this because today we're going in another episode of Subculture Fashion. So today we're going back in time, back to the 1940s with the jazz and bebop era to explore the subculture, the fashion and the history of Atkins. The Epcats or Ipsters are a subculture from the 1940s that is characterized from jump blues, jazz, people musicians and fans that started in the black community. Bebop is a musical genre that came out in the 40s after the jazz craze of the 20s and 30s is a style of jazz that is known for its fast rhythm, rapid chord progression, change of melody and scales and improvisation. The term bebop comes from scat singing, a vocal improvisation technique with vocables and syllables, and culminated from the swing music of the mid 1930s. The term epcat was coined in 1939 as a guy who knows all the answers and understands jive by Cab Calloway, while the term hipster came around in the 1940s. The epcat subculture Follow the jazz musician lifestyle, like being chill, using slangs, dressed to impress, being sarcastic and humorous, playboys, and the use of MJ and more. So bebop became a symbol of rebellion against the big jazz bands and the mainstream music at the time. The Epcot subculture rapidly expanded after the Second World War, with acts like Dizzy Gillespie. Thelonious Fear Monk, Pat Navarro, Charlie Parker, Clifford Brown, and more. The Zoot suit was pretty popular in the Epcot subculture and is a suit that has a long blazer with white labels and white padded shoulders with high waisted trousers that are tight and cuffed and wide. Their style is defined by baggy blazers, white pants, bright colors patterned or colorful trousers, chains, striped suits, fedora or pork pie hats, berets, suspenders, and sunnies. With the rise of swing, the word app is used in square culture, and then in the 1940s, the word hip is used by jazz musicians that will replace Epcat to hipster. The hipsters were middle-class European-American men that wanted to emulate the style and manners of the African-American jazz fans. Ads like Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Benny Goodman, and more helped to spread jazz and bebop to the white audience during the 1930s and 1940s. White youth starts to hang out in black communities to enjoy the music and dancing. By the end of the 1940s, swing was out and hipsters gravitated towards bebop and hot jazz. Bebop was the main way for the white youth to dive into African American culture and recognized that was a rebellious music genre at the time. Like Bud Freeman, jazz musicians from the Austin High School gag that said, it was not just the music that moved me, but the whole picture of oppressed people who appeared to be much happier than we whites, who had everything. So America was divided between hip and squares. Hip were the jazz fans that wanted to be different from the mainstream and be cool, while squares were the ones that were out of date, that didn't appreciate jazz. The language was also another important aspect of the Epcot subculture. For example, the jive talk words like out of this world, gone, or solid were positive, why words like a drag, nowhere, beat, and negative expressions. The 1950s Epcot subculture became mainstream, in part, as jazz was fading, 
but another subculture came in called the beatniks that were rising. So before doing this video, I've never heard about Epcat, but let me be clear. I've heard about the name Epcat, but I didn't know about the subculture and the fashion and the music behind it. Especially because I'm not very familiar with jazz and especially bebop, so I heard about some tracks with this epilepsy and I must say it was a chill time. Like the music is banging, I must say. Like I really love the chill vibe of the bebop tracks and especially this epilepsy, that man, that man had talent. And another thing I forgot to mention are zoot suit guys because I want a zoot suit so badly after seeing these images on Google and Pinterest like I want one immediately. The problem is, is that they are very very rare like I couldn't find them at the fifth store, at the flea market and even online like they are so rare but I want one please like if like even like modern designers please do a zoot suit because I want it even if it's now wait. If it's too expensive, I will not get it. But if it's if it's affordable and good quality, I want one, please. Because those zoot suits are fire. They are on point. I really, 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 really dig them. Yeah, yeah. I need one. So now that we know the history and the style of this subculture, I'm going to show you two outfits that were inspired from the Epcot subculture. <laughs> For this first Epcot inspired look, I was inspired from Ditsy Gillespie and Thelonious Monk because they are always wearing their beret with those round sunglasses that are really thick. And I took this beret in Amsterdam in 2020, I thrifted it at the Kilo store, then I'm wearing my round sunglasses that I took at Tiger with my thrifted checkered suit, my thrifted tie, a button up, some thrifted trousers and my derby shoes. So I wanted to stick to earth tones to match the suit and the beret and the tie with the trousers so I'll keep it on the brown shade, red shade and yeah this is my first look. Then for this second look, I was inspired from the Zoot Suiters. I think this blazer is the most similar blazer that I had to a Zoot Suit because Zoot Suits are impossible to find guys, like impossible. So I think this, it matches like the Zoot Suit vibe. And I'm wearing my striped Zoot Suit with my fedora head from H&M, my sunglasses that I thrifted it, my thrifted tie with the neckerchief, and I'm wearing also my black trousers with my H&M loafers and I keep it all black with that splash of purple on the tie and a splash of red on the neckerchief and I think the look came out pretty good I must say. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell so you will know when I put my next video, and yeah, I had a good time, stay chill, and I will see y'all on the next one. Show you two outfits where I was inspired from different, wait a sec.
comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we, we 